Hello students, welcome to the learner's planet. So students, this will be our third problem solving session for AREEE chemistry paper of 2011. Right? So till now we have solved around 20 questions of the AREEE paper. In this session we will be solving the remaining of the questions. Right? So students, actually this particular thing is to give you a practice or an idea of how the paper is, right? Because from the past papers, the previous year papers, we get the idea that how, what sort of papers are given in this exam or what sort of questions are asked in this exam. So now let's start with our session students. Now here, our first question is, boron cannot form which one of the following anions? Now students, to which group this boron belongs? Now your boron belongs to the 13th group or third group of the periodic table or third B group, right? Now what is the electronic configuration of boron? It is 2s2, 2p3, right? Now what is the maximum covalency shown by boron? The maximum covalency of boron is 4, right? It can accept one electron. Whereas the other elements of this group like aluminium, like gallium, indium or thallium, they are showing maximum covalency of 6 right now see in BH4 the co covalency is 4 this is 4 and this is also 4 right but BF6 boron cannot give show 6 covalency so this ion cannot be formed by boron right so students while solving such a sort of questions you need to know the uh, maximum covalency shown by the, that particular element right and let's take up the next question students yeah it is which of the following statements regarding sulfur is incorrect now students see the vapor at two the vapor at 200 degrees centigrade consists mostly of sh rings now in such sort of questions now here students you can't just remember the facts like this that the vapor at 200 degrees centigrade consists mostly of sh rings it may be or it may not be at 600 degrees centigrade the gas mainly consists of s2 molecules this is correct now here find out for the incorrect option straight away. See here the oxidation state of sulfur is never less than plus 4 in its compound. Is it so? The oxidation state of sulfur can be minus 2 to plus 6. So it can be less than plus 4 and so it can be minus 2 to plus 6. Now this is your incorrect statement. This is a question of just one statement correct you have chosen this one statement correct right because you can't remember these things that the vapor at 200 degrees centigrade consists mostly of s8 rings at 600 degrees centigrade the gas mainly consists of s2 molecules and s2 is paramagnetic this we know according to molecular orbital theory this s2 comes out to be paramagnetic right so this is your wrong option so just choose for the incorrect straight away Though you will get one or the other statement which is logical or which you can take out, pick out, right? So it's not that. You can say that ma'am this can be asked for your iodine or any of the element. So how many facts you are going to remember about each and every element? Do try to pick up the statement which is incorrect and that will be definitely related to its oxidation state or covalency or any other character. This statement can be S2 is a diamagnetic. That is also uh, wrong. Not that whether it is diamagnetic or paramagnetic you can make it out from your molecular orbital theory concept. Right? So this is the answer of your question. 
let's take up the next question students yeah this is the structure of rf7 is now students in order to find out the structure of if7 what you want to know is or what you should know is you should know the hybridization in if7 this you must know now how will you find out the hybridization in if7 see just sum up the valence electrons so how many valence electrons are there in iodine seven how many valence electrons are there in fluorine one and there is there are seven fluorine atoms so it is plus seven the total comes out to be 14 right now if the sum of the valence electrons is between 8 to 56 you need to divide that particular number by 8 right so uh, the number of valence electrons you have found now here what you are going to do is so students i have made a mistake over here there are seven fluorine atoms and what is the number of valence electrons in fluorine the number of valence electron in fluorine is 7 right sorry students i have made this mistake the number of valence electron is 7 and there are 7 fluorine atoms so it comes out to be 7 plus 49 so what will be the thing it would be 56 now divided by 8 so there are what will be 8 7 is 56 so there are 7 hybrid orbitals right so what is the hybridization here it is sp3 that is 4 and d3 so hybridization is sp3 d3 now what will be the shape of this it comes out to be pentagonal bipyramidal geometry say this is your pentagon right and the fluorine atoms are present at its corner and we have one down and there is one up right so this is a pentagonal bipyramidal geometry right so this will be your answer so students in order to determine any of the structure what you need is you need to know about the hybridization right now let's take up the next question students yeah this is ozonolysis of an organic compound gives formaldehyde as one of the products this confirms the presence of Now see students what is obtained is formaldehyde right now ozonolysis is what that is your acetylene or your ethylene right here it can be r now they are subjected to ozonolysis or they are treated with o3 right now here what you get is r c double bond c and i have got oxygen right and here it can be r or h anything likewise here what am i getting it is r this is o and this is again c this is o and this is o right now what is the one of the product which is formaldehyde right so students what will be the it is definitely not a triple bond right it is not a triple bond over here now this will undergo a y shaped cleavage and here it will form what hcho and rcho right so what type of group should be present there there should be a vinyl group present so what is the right option a 
it should not be isopropyl it should not be acetylenic triple bond or it should not be two ethylenic double bonds there has to be a vinyl group present over there then only it will form one molecule of formaldehyde right so this is the answer of this question let's move